Hi and welcome to the third video in my series of electric guitar fundamentals. I've got a bunch of lessons on chords, seventh chords, ninth chords, and I, I demonstrate all kinds of things that you can do with that as far as playing rhythm. And if you're just getting started playing electric blues guitar, one of the first things you want to do is start soloing. But if you're musically disinclined or don't know music or understand music, it's kind of daunting sometimes. But there's some really easy methods that you can use to start figuring out the fretboard and, and where you can play. I'm going to show you a very simple idea, the blues box. And different people explain this in different ways. I'm going to kind of explain it the way I understand it, which is like a blues box for dummies. And I think the simpler the better, and you can add to this and make this more complicated as you go through. But anyway, so let's take the key of A. If you're going to play solo stuff, what you need to learn are the chords, and you're basically going to play over the shape of the chords. So a first position A bar chord, let's start with that. And to play that, you should know this, if you don't know these bar chords, you know, before you play any kind of electric guitar, you should probably learn these, these bar chords, because they're the foundation of so much stuff. What they do for us now and here here and now is map out what's called the first position blues box. So we're basically, if we're playing an A, we've got this pattern of notes that we can play. And I'm going to show you just kind of a rough version of this, which I think is easy to get started with. So there's my first chord position, and we're doing this. And those are notes in that first position blues box. There are others. That's what I call the skeleton, or the outline of it. So if I've got a song in the key of A, let's say the rhythm player is playing something like this. See how I just play in that pattern and they all, all the notes sound good, sound like they belong, they sound in tune. So let me show you the notes, so the outline notes. If we're playing in the, in the key of A, we're going to start at the 7th, 8th fret of the 1st string to the 5th fret. Same thing on the 2nd string. And then we're going 7th to 5th on the 3rd string. Same on the 4th string. Same on the 5th string. And then here we're going to go to the 8th fret of the 6th string back to what's the 1, the A, which is the 5th fret of the 6th string. We can do that back and forth. Go the other way. It's not quite a scale. So if you play a scale, you get... And scales are useful, but when you're learning to play blues, the first thing you want to do is just get an area where you can start playing some, some notes. Now you have to do more than just play those notes. You've got to do some bends, you've got to do some double stops, you've got to do some what I call tricks or embellishments. And we'll get to those here in just a little bit. But the first step to playing lead guitar is knowing where can I play, what notes can I play, and they'll sound okay or sound good in different keys. So that first position blues box is movable. If we play in G, if we move this down to G, same thing. This time we're going to start from the 6th fret of the 1st string to the 3rd. Same thing on the 2nd string, and then the same pattern. We're playing in C. We're starting at the 11th fret of the first string. So look at the first position bar chord and basically you can that's taking up two frets from the eighth to the tenth frets. You start on the fret above it, the eleventh. That's your basic blues box. Move that over any first position bar chord. Here's my D, my E, B flat, A, F, now F's a little tougher because you're going to have to throw in some open notes. And you can also play that same thing with your open chords, E. And with E, it's a little different because you've got the open notes. So we're starting, here's an E chord. 
So with the E chord, you just have to imagine your first finger, if the neck kept going, your first finger would be right where the nut is, right here. So now, that's your first position E chord. So we're starting on the third fret of the first string, and then we're using open, because we can't fret anything up there. Same thing on the second string. Same deal when you get to the third string. Second fret, open, fourth string, fifth string, and then for that little bass ending, third fret of the sixth string, open. There was a Roy Orbison rockabilly tune in, uh, in the 50s, I think, Rock House, where he just plays his solo. Kind of right over that. That kind of thing. So that is your first position blues box scale, or what we'll call a pattern. Since I'm not musical, I don't want to say it. it's not really a scale. Now you can add some notes to that. Let's look at the notes we can add to this before we move on and start showing you how to do some bends and other things to make this sound more bluesy. So here's some other notes that fit in. If we're playing in A, just look at the chord shape. Pretty much a lot of the notes in that zone there, that blues box zone, are going to work. 7th fret of the 1st string. So we've got, we can add that. So instead of just this, we can add the 7th fret on both the 1st and 2nd strings. Going back the other way. All those work. So those are notes. All in the key of A. One that you'll use a lot is what they call the major third, if I'm not mistaken, which is right in the middle of this. So when you make your bar chord, that's where you have your second finger. This will be, if you're playing an A bar chord, it's going to be on the sixth fret of the third string. So you can also do this. I'm not doing any kind of slides or bends or vibrato or anything. I'm just playing a pattern. And that's one way to get started, to get used to the where you can play, is just try to play a melody. Using those notes. So we've added those. Now we can also throw in... That note right there, which is at the 4th fret of the 5th um, string. So we can do this. That works. That one works in there. But the ones, I don't want to get too complicated here. These are the main ones. Another one that you listen to the playing of Bill Jennings and Billy Butler, who were more jazz-oriented blues guitar players, arguably jazz guitar players, they would also include this note. So you're in the blues box, but we're going to go to the 8th fret of the 3rd string. Remember we said the 8th fret of the 1st string and the 2nd string worked, but also that note works too. So you could do something like this. those notes. Let's do it one more time. So right now what we can play, and it sounds good, in the key of A. So over that first position bar chord. 8, 7, 6. I'm sorry, 8, 7, 5 on the first string. 8, 7, 5 on the second string. 8, 7, 5 on the third string. And then 7, 5 on the fourth string. Fifth string. And then 8, 5 on the sixth string. Now there's lots of other places you can play to get into that blues box and get out of it. And there's, that's one of the lessons I'm going to do here in the Fundamental Series is show you all the places on the neck where you can play in different keys. So in the key of A, our blues box is right over that bar chord with a couple notes here on the 8th fret outside of it. Everything else is within the 5th and the 7th frets. 
and you can move that. So we move the C. I'm just, just picking the notes and moving around in that position. So if you want to get started with lead playing, that's one of the first things you want to try to figure out is that first position blues box. And when you hear a song, first thing you do is you try to figure out what key it's in. And we'll talk about that here a little bit later. But once you figure out what key it's in, then you can find that first position blues box and pretty much start soloing. A lot of solos on classic blues songs are played entirely within the first position blues box. But as we'll see in the next lesson, there's also a second position blues box. There's even a third, what I call the third blues box. And then there's other places on the neck where you can play and get all kinds of different sounds in the same key. So if you want to play stuff like B.B. King, T-Bone Walker, Jimmy Reed type tunes, any of that stuff, and you're going to play fills or lead stuff, a lot of that is based on this first position blues box. Now in all the lessons that come next, we're going to try to show you how to add to this and how to play the notes in a way that sounds cool and different and give you a lot of variety, different ways you can play all these basic notes in that, in that zone or that what we call position or the map of the, of the blues box. Hope this is helpful. If I confuse the, the heck out of you, let me know and I can redo this. But that is one of the most important things for getting started in playing lead guitar with the old blues stuff. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at the second position blues box.